So now in this video what we will be doing is we will be adding animations to our movement right for animations click on game folder then click on player character and in the player character let's go ahead and create an animator controller let's name this as player click on player and then drag and drop it in the animator controller reference all right then let's double click on it here it is move the entry any state and exit right here once you do that then create a float the first one will be horizontal then the next one will be vertical okay then we need to create a blend tree so from new blend tree click that let's name this plane tree as movement right double click on it select that and in the top options we're gonna select the 2d free from directional and when you select that the first parameter will be horizontal and the second one will be vertical all right let's add three motion fields when you add three motion fields now as you can see it needs the motions but first of all let me make the position x for the third one zero then the position y for the first one will be zero for this one it will be 0.5 and for the next one it will be one okay now let's click on animations click on locomotions and in here you will find these animation let me open them up all right so we have this running animation and then this running animation all right so you can use whatever you want i'm gonna add the idle in the first one then the walking in the second one and then let's add this running in there okay make the vertical value zero and guys make sure that all of your animations are loop time loop pose and begin to pose in all of the rotation and positions and they're based upon is original and then click apply okay make sure that for all of your idle walking and running animation they are the same if you are using the animations which i have given you then this options will be already added so you don't have to do anything all right so now as you can see this is the animation now if you increase the vertical value to let's just say 0 0.5 or something as you can see the players start walking and when it increased then the players start running okay as you can see it means our movement plan tree is working perfectly fine now after this what we're gonna do is in the scripts folder then in the player folder let's go ahead and create a C sharp script by the name of animator manager click on player then drag and drop this animator manager script right there okay now what we're gonna do is in the animator manager script we're gonna set a reference to our animator and as you know that in the animator we have the parameter horizontal and vertical and to this horizontal and vertical we will pass the value of this horizontal input and vertical input and then according to that the player will move in the environment okay when it is one the player will move in the forward direction or walk in the forward direction or just stay idle and when we change the horizontal value the player will move to the left or to the right okay so it will uh, play these animations in all directions all right so now click on player let's double click on animator manager on animator manager script what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a reference to the animator okay i don't know why it is setting animator manager by default we just need to type animator that's it then create a integer by the name of horizontal then a private integer by the name of vertical then in the awake method let's set the references so let me remove that summary for the animator we will say get component and 
we want to get the animator once we have the animator then we will set the horizontal integer to animator dot string to hash let's pass the horizontal parameter in our animator controller okay then let's do the same for the vertical so instead of horizontal right here we will type vertical and then right here as well we will type vertical okay and make sure that you type horizontal and vertical similar to the animator controller parameters right here horizontal and vertical the h and v is capital all right make sure that you spell them correctly now let's update the animator values according to the inputs okay for that we will create a method by the name of update animation values or anim values this will require a float by the name of horizontal movement then another float by the name of vertical movement okay then what we're gonna do we will say animator dot set float pass the horizontal value okay and as you know that the horizontal value we actually uh, set it to the horizontal and vertical of the uh, animator parameters all right so after horizontal we will pass the horizontal movement then we will pass 0 0.1 and then time dot delta time all right you can now copy and paste that for the vertical so instead of horizontal type vertical and then right here pass the vertical movement and then 0 0.1 and then time dot delta time all right so this will basically set the values in our animator controller right here okay and as you know that when it set the values then according to that values it will play the animation okay so for now it will play the animations on the keyboard only but if we then uh, try to control the movement using the controller as you know that the controller joystick rotates 360 okay and and when it rotates 360 okay then as you know that the uh, in order to play the animations the value should be 0 or 0 0.5 or 1 okay and then on the joystick the value will not always be 0 0 0.5 or 1 the value will be go in minus or even uh, in uh, a very long number like 0 0.111222333 like this okay so in order to prevent all of this what we're gonna do is we're gonna use animation snapping and this animation snapping will fix the issue right so first of all in this method at the top create a float by the name of snapped horizontal let me make the O small then create another float by the name of snapped vertical then start a region from here so name it as snapped horizontal or right then inside this region in the if condition we will say if the horizontal movement is greater than 0 F and horizontal movement is less than 0 0.55 then the snapped horizontal will be equals to 0 0.5 alright so in this way we can now snap the value to 0 0.5 then in the else if 
we will say if the horizontal movement is greater than 0 0.55 then in this case the snapped horizontal will be equals to 1 all right then we will say else if the horizontal movement is less than 0 and horizontal movement is greater than minus 0 0.55 then in this case the horizontal movement actually not horizontal movement snapped movement snapped horizontal will be equals to minus 0 0.5 All right then else if the horizontal movement is less than minus 0 0.55 then in this case the snapped horizontal will be equals to minus 1 All right then we will use a else if uh, not else if just else in which we will set the snapped horizontal to 0 and then right here we're gonna end this region and the reason we created this region is because now we can minimize it right right like that okay right so this is for the horizontal now we need to do the same for vertical so what I'm gonna do is simply copy it and actually let me give space right here okay now let's do that and right here paste it and when you paste it change it to now vertical and right here instead of horizontal movement we will type vertical movement in all of this if else condition okay so make sure that you change them one by one correctly okay and change this snapped horizontal to snapped vertical change it in the first one copy it change it in the other ones as well like that that is all you have to do in this all right so we snap the movement okay the next thing which we will be doing now is instead of horizontal movement we now need to type snapped horizontal and then snapped vertical now we need to call this method somewhere all right so for that I'm gonna get back to the input manager script and right here on the input manager script what I will do is right above this create a private float by the name of move amount and at the top right here we need a reference to our animator manager script okay name it as animator manager that's it then in the awake method let's set up the reference okay so animator manager will be equals to get component animator manager that's it once we have the reference now let's call the method from the animator manager as you know update uh, animation values it requires two floats so we need to provide that first of all what we're going to do we're going to set the move amount to mathf dot clamp 0 1 in this we will say mathf dot abs first of all pass the horizontal input and then the vertical input once they both are clamp then what we're gonna do we're gonna say animator manager dot update anim values for the horizontal movement we will pass zero and for the vertical we will pass the move amount that is all we have to do right we provide the horizontal movement and vertical movement values right here make sure that you provide f at the end that's it let's get back to unity 
okay on this it shows an error on animator manager 14 and 15 line it shows that member animator to uh, dot string to hash string cannot be accessed with an instance reference all right and the reason it is showing this is because right here make sure this a is capital in the animator okay now we can check that the error is gone the animator and everything is added we can just simply play the game now and you will notice when the game is played the player is playing the idle animation now if we walk as you can see the player is walking and the player can rotate as well okay what we are gonna do is we are gonna only play the running animation from this when the player is holding down the shift key okay we will be then only playing the running animation or else we will be just playing the walking animation because right here as you can see when we press the W key or when we move the joystick forward the player is running okay we don't actually want that so we will be fixing fixing that as well and also as you can see when we rotate to the left or right or backward the player looks in the forward direction this is the issue which is needed to be fixed and also the player is not moving okay so we will be fixing these two issues for the rotation what we have to do is we have to open up the player movement and in the handle rotation right here we will say if the target direction is equals to vector 3 dot 0 then target direction will be equals to transform dot forward when you do that and then play the game you will notice that now when we rotate to whatever position we want the player stays in that position okay if we check it using the joystick as you can see it works perfectly fine but if you notice the player is not moving at all okay so we have to fix this issue in order to fix this issue on the player manager script remove this line okay cut it from here create a late update method and paste it in there and then remove the summary and that is all you have to do in order to fix this issue okay get back to unity play the game and now as you can see the player is running okay for now we have the movement speed applied to running for running we will be adding separate speed okay so in the next video we will be fixing these things as well okay we will be just walking and when we press the shift key or on the controller if we press the B or A key on the Xbox controller then the player will start running or you can say sprinting okay so in the next video we will be doing that